All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn accessibility by building a quiz, step 20. So it's important to link each input to the corresponding label element. This provides assistive technology users with a visual reference to the input. Uh, this is done by giving the label a for attribute, which contains the ID of input. Okay, uh, this section will take a student's name, email address, and date of birth. So we're going to give the label elements appropriate for attributes as well as text content. Then we're going to link the input elements to the corresponding label elements. Okay. So we're going to come down here and we're going to say for uh, equals and then we're going to have that and then down here in input we're going to have uh, ID equals a s empty string also. All right, and so we got this, and since they're all the same, I'm just gonna re I'm just gonna replace them. All right, so let's do this. Replace. Oh, no, here we go. Replace and replace. All right, and so now we're gonna put in here uh, name. Where's name? Yeah, name, email address, and then date of birth. So right here we'll put name, and then we'll put name, then we'll say uh, email, and then right here we'll put email, and then we'll put, uh, yeah, well, it's cool enough, email right here, yes, email, and then we'll put uh, dob for date of birth, then in here we'll say date, that's not it, date of birth, and right here we'll do dob again. All right, uh, and that looks like what they want. So let's see if that's really what they want. Nope. You should get the first input element an ID attribute matching the four attribute. What did I do? Oh yeah, name. Test it out. Looks good. Submit it. All right. Now we're on to step twenty-one, and we'll see you next time.